Hi all, this is Max from ZetoMax.com and uh, HTCEvo.net and also DroidX.net. I can hardly remember any of my new domains anymore, my new blogs. Anyway, I've got the two phones here um, side by side and uh, you can see that uh, on the bottom um, the uh, Motorola Droid X is actually thinner but if you look on top you'll see that uh, the Motorola Droid X is a little bit thicker so that is the design of the Motorola Droid X and uh, let me do this this you can see um, I guess you know they're about the same the the Motorola Droid X is about quarter inch taller but the width is pretty much the same and uh, oh actually with this HTC Evo is actually a little bit wider and this is a little bit thinner but the same screen this uh, Motorola Droid X has a little bit better edge to edge uh, screen versus the uh, the Evo as far as the screen I would say they're about about equal with this one having a little bit better resolution so let me load up a site and we can compare side by side um, so let me go here and uh, how about let's load up um, what's a good site for testing how about my site zetomax.com there you go okay we can also do a speed test I can feel that the uh, Droid X is a little bit snappier um, so let me do that and then go so I get full signal for vo both. Oh, you know what? I have wireless on this one, so this one's gonna load way faster. So forget about speed, but uh, we'll look at the resolution close up after this loads. Doom, doom, doom. So that's my pop up there. Doom, doom, doom. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I gotta get rid of the pop up. There we go. That's how you do it. Pinpoint. There we go. So let me uh, do a close up. Let me pinch and zoom as much as I can. Maybe on my logo or something. Well, my logo is not. It's not going to be. Let me just show you uh, some words. So, how about the Droid X? So, this is as far as it goes. And then on this one, let me do. Do as far as it can. Oh. Where do I put it? No, I'm having some technical difficulties here. Yeah, the the problem is that uh, there's no problem. Okay, well, let me just show you the words here. Um, as you can see, it's. Pretty much the same, I would say. I can't really tell the difference. The Droid X, maybe a little bit better because of uh, the the resolution. And let me see if I can do a close up here real quick, as close as possible. Now this is as close as my camera can do while it stays clear, which is about uh, five inches. This is actually about where you can expect from five inches. So, as you can see, they're both pretty clear. Um, so, there's not much difference, but I, I can tell you that the Droid X has a little bit brighter screen, I think, in my opinion. Um, so, if you can tell. But I would say they were, they're about the same. Um, yeah, about the same. Uh, let me show you other features. Let's do a speed test. Let me turn off the um, let me turn off the Wi-Fi on this one, and then we can do a speed test real quick. 
So I got the speed app, speed test app. Uh, so I got this. Oh, let me do a kill on both of these. Let me do a task kill so there's no a actual task running. Oh, sorry. Let me can't do this. I need an assistant. Sexy assistant. Anyway. Is that clear? Okay. There we go, sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna kill all the apps. Um, and then I'm gonna open up speed test on Sprint and Verizon. Of course, this is just gonna be testing uh, 3G. As you know, as far as 4G, of course, this uh, 4G phone is gonna win, but. Ready, set, go. So I get full bars, pretty much, for both phones here. I, I'm on the 12th floor in San Francisco, so. Ooh, look at that. I was doing this test earlier and, you know, Verizon was doing about only, you know, one third of it. But I mean, it fluctuates. It depends on which cellular tower it connects to. But as you can see, uh, the, e the Droid X does not too bad in the speed test. Um, let's see, home. So, let me see, what else can I show you? Um, well, if you want to see a certain feature comparison, you can leave a comment and I, I'll do another video, more videos for you guys. But um, as far as, you know, I really like this phone now. But uh, I mean, I still love my 4G. So if you're on Sprint, I would go with Sprint. If you're on Verizon, I would go with Verizon. And if you're on AT&T, um, I would just get out of AT&T first, either way. So that was a review of the two phones. Of course, the 4G has a front-facing camera, the 4G, and the kickstand, which kind of is cool. Um, but the Droid X is definitely a great phone. It's really light. It feels light. Um, when I do this, when I do this, it's still a little bit lighter. I bet it's a little bit lighter. But uh, especially when you put it on your hand like this, oh feels so good it's balanced anyway that was a review of the two phones and I'll have a review of the Droid X versus Nexus one and Droid X versus Droid Incredible so stay tuned folks see y'all later